So something we get asked to do quite a bit as messaging administrators is figure out what's going on with our email. I was expecting an email. I sent an email. I don't know where it went, what happened, um, how much email have we been getting, things like that. So we have this uh, tool in Microsoft 365 called a message trace. And we're going to find it under mail flow and message trace. Now, I can show you some basic things with this. I can't do very much because this is a trial account and there's not really a whole lot of mail coming in and out of it at the moment. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we've got. We have a we have a bunch of default queries. So messages sent from my primary domain in the last day, messages received by my primary domain in the last day. Uh, here's some more details about it. I can click on start a trace. Let me back up here. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I can run any of these queries. I click on it and it pre-populates and everything is set and I can do search and it will run and try to find all that information. Notice a couple of notifications up here as they're making changes. I can do a custom query and I can create my own. Also here you'll notice under the default queries I have start a trace, which is going to be pretty much the same thing I'm gonna see here in my custom queries when I start a trace. And so the ones that are showing up down here are predefined, preset, we can just run them as we are as they are. If we want to do something specific, then we can start a trace. And if we save our custom query, it's going to show up here. So I can choose specific senders, specific recipients, a time range, a specific uh, subject. I can look for a specific delivery status and look for a specific message ID. If I know that one, a message trace ID, which direction it was going. And then I can choose to look at a summary report, an enhanced summary report, or an extended report. And notice the availability of them. Summary report is instant online access. These two are from downloadable CSV files only. So if somebody tells me, hey, I sent a message to Gandalf, then I can go to my recipients and do Gandalf at, there we go. Gandalf at MiddleEarthWizards.org. And let's say Frodo is the one who's spelling. Let's do Bilbo. Bilbo sent a, spell Bilbo correctly. Bilbo sent a request about his party. He wants to see if he got it. So I'm going to start with uh, the subject farewell party. So I can say it starts with, ends with, or contains farewell party. And then I want to look at it regardless of the delivery status. I want to see what happened to it. I want, don't care which direction it went, but I can say it was outbound. I can all, if I leave inbound, then if um, Gandalf replied, I would catch that. So I'm going to do all so I can see the outbound message and then any inbound responses. And then I can do a summary report and trigger search. If I save, it's going to save this as a custom query. Farewell party. Tracking. And save. And now that's done. So I can now find this under my custom queries, farewell party and tracking, and run this search whenever I want. I don't have to save it. I can, when I build it, I can just do the search and have it go look. Now, obviously, this is not going to return me anything, so I'm not going to actually search it. But this is how you would do a message trace. If you are trying to find what happened to a particular message or a particular group of messages, it can also be useful if you're investigating something, right? I want to see how many people replied to Bilbo's messages. Uh, or just look at how much email as a whole has been happening about that message. So I can delete this and just recipients will be all. And, uh, or let me even just go even farther. Any sender, any recipient, anything where the subject contains farewell party.
and that will return all of my email that matches those. So this is a great way to see what's been going on or to see if there's been a problem. So with your delivery status, I can find things that have been delivered, expanded, that failed, are still pending, got quarantined, got filtered as spam. So lots of different ways that I can look at and track my mail flow here. So a very, very useful tool and one that as messaging administrators, we will have to take advantage of on a fairly regular basis.